How's it going guys, it's Tactics HD here bringing another FIFA 12 Ultimate Team coin making tip video. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make coins buying and selling silver players. So as you guys can see I have 57 players on my watch list and I've bought all of them. So I'm not going to be able to put all of them in trade pile but I'll put as many as I can. And so first things first guys, you want to buy silver players either in the 41212, 442 or 433 formations. Uh, they're the three most popular formations therefore you have the most, uh, li they're most likely to buy your player. As well guys you try to buy uh, people that are in the top nine countries so for instance france england brazil spain germany netherlands portugal um probably missing a couple others but you guys know what uh countries i'm talking about as well you try to buy people in popular leagues for instance right here somebody in the bundesliga um and power uh, barclays league one spl is pretty popular the mexican league is also pretty popular um, as well guys, you want to buy them in a position that matches their formation. For instance, 4 one 2 one 2 this guy right here is a right mid. I wouldn't buy him if he was a right wing. As well, you know, you buy a center attacking mid or a center defensive mid, you wouldn't buy a center mid because they has, uh, then they'd have to buy a uh, position card and make it fit. So you want to just make it the most likely buy or easiest buy for whoever's looking. Um, also guys, I buy a striker, I try to get him as pacey as I can right here, he's an 80 pace guy. 433. Three. I thought that was a pretty good deal for 300. Probably can sell him for at least 500. Almost doubled my profit. I usually don't buy players if I can at least double my profit. So like this guy, I'll probably put up for five or six start price, and then uh, six or seven by now. Um, as well, guys, I would never spend over 300 on a not rare silver player. Um, if they're rare, the prices can vary. But if you're buying not rares, you can never spend over 300. But you'll always make your profit back, as you can see. I get a lot of guys for 150 start price, which is really just great. Um, right here some more players. There's an 80 pace guy from Ivory Coast. And he's a striker or left wing, sorry. But as you can see, he matches the 4-3-3. Right here's a rare guy. I got for 300. Probably some for at least 5. And right here you guys can see they're all just kinds of different players. Um, and I'm likely to make my money back on all these guys. Right there's an 80 pace Brazilian player in the 4-4-2 playing in Liga de Brazil. So he's for sure going to sell for more than I bought him for. And right here you guys can see a player for Juventus. So he'll sell. He's a center defensive mid. 80 pace winger. Um, just a variety of guys, and um, usually I buy in bulk, and then I put as many as up as I can. And like I said, guys, I'm going to at least double my profit on every player I bought. So I'm not exactly sure how much I spent, but uh, let's say the average price was 200. I bought 50 guys, so I spent around 10,000. Uh, when I'm done selling them all, I'll have made at least 20, 25k. So I mean, that's a really good profit, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I put all these guys up for sale, and I'll come back once they've all sold. And that'll be the second part of the video. So, alright, I'll talk to you then. Bye. How's it going, guys? It's Tactics HD here, and I'm back. So, 12 hours later, we've sold all of our players, or at least most of them. And as you guys can see, I was only able to put uh, half my players on the trade pile. So, you only see profit from half the players. So, whatever profit there is, I think there's just over 10k profit. Um, just double that once we sell the rest of the players. So, right here, you can see I already sold someone. So, five and so I sold them for six. I'm pretty sure I sold, uh, sold every single card for the buy now price. And if I sold them for the buy now price, that means I at least doubled my profit. Uh, the buy now is, I always put my buy now uh, for double what I bought them for, sometimes more. And, okay, right there's one guy that sold for not the buy now. But, um, like I said, almost every single player sold for their buy now price. And uh, it's really good. So, you know that you're never not going to make your money back. And as you guys can see, so two of the 20-something players sold from their not buy now price and right here a couple a uh, few guys that didn't sell so i'll probably just put them down by like a hundred and i'll still be making money on all four of those guys as well if i go to my watch list you can see that i still have all of these players still to put up on the trade market and i got a lot of good players here still i got a rare card people in league one some brazilians still so it's not like i have bad players here I actually have a lot of brazilians still to put up and the brazilian silver sell very fast so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tip video, and if you want any more in the future, leave a comment. Uh, if you want to know how to make money uh, selling bronze players, gold players, whatever, just leave a comment and I'll try to help you guys out. So thanks for watching, guys. Oh, and before I forget, I forgot to mention, um, all these silver players, the 57 I bought, I bought them all within a 20-minute span. So I wasn't, you know, on here all day trying to buy the like, best ones. I took 20 minutes, bought all these players within 20 minutes, so I bought pretty much all the silver players or any within 20 minutes. And then those are the players I sold. So you don't really have to spend a lot of time on this either, guys. You know, it took me 20 minutes to buy them. What? Not even 20 minutes to put them all up for sale and then go and do whatever else. So, I mean, it's really time efficient. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like I said. 
And uh, have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.